Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. I want to fuck your, your dad. dad. I want to lay him down on the bed. Oh, shit. I uh, want to get a miss. Yeah, I want to I miss your dad, dude. L.A. County bag. just released uh, photos what? of the Kobe Bryant crash. Oh, really? Yeah. Who did? Uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Oh, yeah. I heard, well, I heard they were leaked anyway, so I, I think they got their hand forced on Maybe, that one. Yeah. Uh, either way, yeah, I, I, I do want to fuck your dad, and I don't, like, I don't want that story oh, to God, stop why? this. Um, no, the more and more no. I think about it, right, just getting your dad and Mish. Oh, God, come on. Do you we know? have to start with this? Yeah, like, we do. Uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm seeing you on video. I want to get your dad studio, and Mish, and I want and you're, his... You're going to open this up with this. No. I want his no, legs. absolutely not. I want, I want to be able to put his legs above my head, you know too. What? Get, get, I'm about to do something. I'm about to do something to you that's gonna fuck with you for a year, Ross. What is it? Mm. What is it? If you don't stop, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be in your head for at least a year before you can delete it. Go ahead. I want to hear it. Yeah, it's okay. too late now. Hey, you... the next time you're just throwing at it, doggy style. Yeah. Do not think about me. Do not. So think about you as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't think about. You know what you I should never do, do. Jared. I never you know what you, <laughs> Jared. Here's I what. Never you, here's do. what you should do. You should go uh, find a bunch no, of that pictures. No, that is a that's a subliminal attack. It is. Go find I'll, a I'll bunch. Tell you what. Of, go find a bunch of because, pictures of girls doggy style and Photoshop your face on their butthole. Well, next time, and then send one to him he, every day. Next time he's doing that in his head, he's gonna go. Wait, there was something that. I wasn't supposed to think about. Oh, God damn it. I'll, I'll tell you where I think about it. If you want to know, I'll, like, I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you where I think about it. Um, in my other house that, that you stay at often when you're in town, there was yeah. uh, a bottle of lube there. Um, that, was, that wasn't mine. That had it just a tiny bit left, Jared. So apparently yeah. you did use it with whoever down I don't think there. That, I don't think that was mine. It was. I don't. Who else I would don't that remember have been? Bringing no, I don't remember bringing no lube. Now, look, the only there's other been a person few, there's wasn't been a few people that have stayed out there. Yeah, there is. has been a bunch of people. But recently, yeah. during that time period, I think I'm, it was you and maybe Tiffany. Disgust and Justin and Tiffany. Yeah, maybe Tiffany. Who knows? Maybe, yeah. Maybe she, she lubes yeah. up to masturbate. Who knows? Hey, you know, lubes up. Yeah, do, you, I, do you lube I, up I to masturbate while we're talking? Not about? at all. I don't either. Not even anything. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I, go, I don't need nothing. A bear back it. A bear yeah, back it. Full dry. Uh, the okay. reason why we're coming at you today in, in such a fashion, such a manner, if you will, is uh, to, talk about, to talk about something very important. Look, Jared throws out 100 ideas uh, a year. A day. a day. A day, maybe. A day. A day. One are good. It's to the point where you answer, like when my phone rings and it's Jared Taylor, I answer one out of three times because I know like these ideas are going to be no, terrible. No, that's, that's, da that's dangerous. That's Ugh. dangerous. You're uh, risking you're risking money, <laughs> life, limb, and happiness by screening my calls. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. So I answered a call last night or the night before, and you actually did have the greatest idea of all time. Jared Taylor wants to open up a funeral home, Dan. For this was this was okay. So uh, also too, it was it was tier. It was, it was one of our guys. It was Red Leader standing by as we were in the Ooh. office discussing this. Correct. You know, Tier. Yeah. The, yeah. the whole reason that this kind of came about was because he had one of his guys write in his will, this is how he wanted to be buried. And when he tried to execute it, he was like, people don't know what this actually would take. You, you mean like permits. A type of have, funeral or a burial yes, or something? A All type right. of a type of funeral. It's not and, like and mine he, where you fire me into a fucking brick wall of a cannon, right? Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, um, kind of. So it's Jared Jared wants to open a funeral home called Die Like a Viking. And I'll let you take it from here, Jared. Because it was actually yeah, my favorite idea. That actually could work. So so yes, we get a, a nice piece of property, mm -hmm. probably like 10 acres in Washington, Pacific North. Yeah. yeah Washington yeah. state, something with a man-made lake or something. No, not a man-made lake. We're going to be on the, the sound. On the ocean. So yeah. we'll be oh, the you're going to do on the sound. Yeah, okay. You want the, yeah, yeah. you want the, you want the constant, you do this in a lake, like after about 30 of these, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be funny as shit. Like the EPA <laughs> shows up. Why are there 80 bodies in here? Like, well, we've had a good year. <laughs> we had a good like, year, like, guys. What do you want to do? Partially burned bodies. <laughs> Coronavirus, so, so, brother. Yeah. Death is on the rise. We put in, we put in a really dope, uh, lodge, like, like hotel lodge. That's, uh, 
that, you know, rooms about 200 people, all authentic, really cool Viking style rooms like fur and, 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 you know, dim light yep. and like, it's a really nice rooms. Well, are we going to do home games there too? Like, can you challenge somebody at the funeral? How, how deep hey, into Viking hey, culture? Hey, hey, let us get to the property. Right. Yeah, first. let him, let right. him, let him go like, through the whole the brochure. I just want to know. The, ho the hotel rooms. We have a traditional style Viking lodge, you know, yes. the, 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 the meeting room. The, mm -hmm. I don't know what those are called. I'm sure somebody will – I'm sure 80 people will write me in and go, oh, it's called this, like yeah. the hall, yeah. Viking yeah. hall, you know, where there's a full bar inside there. There's a giant, you know, circular table – not <clears throat> circular, but, you know, it's almost like a, a square table that, that borders the entire room where the barbecue pit and everything is in the center, and then your official staff – Is that real head. or is this a Korean barbecue? Uh, no, no, it's, it's this, this, this is, is a real thing. I don't know. Thing. I don't know much about that part of the I mean, Viking culture. But that haven't sounds... you seen? Yeah, but haven't you seen that that the funny TV Viking show? show that we watch? Yeah, on Netflix. I have. Yeah, but I don't remember that yeah. part. But you know how they sit in the hall? They sit in 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 almost like a a, a, a rectangle that borders the hall. Oh, and you're talking the about cooking. all the leaders of the tribe and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah go yeah, in yeah, and yeah, have their yeah, parties. Yeah. So, so in the morning, you know, you show up on the property. About eight nine o'clock, we got some fog. It's overcast. Yeah. It's gloomy. Um, Real Viking the ceremony. Weather. Yeah, the ceremony starts. The body is laid out on the wooden raft. His best friends carry it to the water. Uh, you know, as he has a sword in his hand uh, or a rifle, you can choose mm -hmm. whichever you would like. Uh, whatever you know, weapon you want. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to dump a $2,500 assault rifle down. The well, we're not going to put that on in the ocean. If you're rich so, enough, if you're rich uh, enough, you can. <laughs> we would we would probably go steal replicas just so they sink. Like, yeah, yeah. Because it's the ocean, we're not just dump off fucking rifles. Yeah. Um, and then we push the raft out. We have a professional archer dressed as a Viking, uh, fires the flaming arrow. We do the ceremony, and then you party on the on the property in the hall. All day, all night long, you have a pig roast. You go back to your rooms. Mugs of the ale. Day, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mugs. At the reception. And, and so at the reception afterwards, mugs of ale. Wooden mugs. Yeah, like, yeah. everything. Wenches serving you. Um, yes. And then you, you have, obviously, a full bagpipe band playing throughout the whole fucking day. Who are you going with for the archer? Are you going to Orlando Bloom or Kevin Costner? Who's it going to be? Carrie Elways, maybe? I no, no, no. I said... I said, uh, you know, wise. I want like a real I professional want, uh, archer. No, no, yeah. no, no. I mean, he's going to be a professional archer, but I yeah. want him to be as big as Marty Scovlin, but look like Leo Jenkins. Yes. Mm. Yeah. You need I a mean, big body. You're talking about uh, what's his nuts from Viking Tactical. What's why can uh, I not think of his name? Kyle Lamb. Kyle Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Big, but bigger. Yeah, but, or but bigger. We, could, we could even use Lucas from, uh, yeah. from Grizzly Forge. From Grizzly Forge. Yeah, he could do it. Is he a bow hunter? Yeah. I mean, we could teach he him. Can I mean, he can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, he could figure it out. Yeah. Lucas could do it. So you spend the weekend there. It's a you know it's a yeah. Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday type of deal. Uh, you die like a Viking. You push the body out into the ocean, set it on All fire. All your friends just party and then rage the entire weekend at this hotel and fuck. You shit sleep. Up. Yeah, you just sleep there. You go to the hall. Like it's fucking amazing. What if die you like did a, Viking. a? What if you did a? Because <laughs> I. You've been to enough of these, Dan. You know, you know how much movement is involved. Yeah. You've yeah, got to yeah. go, you've got to go to the memorial service, the service that is yeah. generally held at a church. Then you've got to move to the burial site where he's buried. Then you've got to move to this after party. Why not just push this all into one thing? Make it a whole weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, now dude. you're not once you park your car. You could have your bottle and your paper bag and just be fucking blitz the entire time because you're not leaving. They take your keys. You know, like a valet <laughs> takes your keys where it's like, hey, man, you're not getting fucked up and driving off, you know, because yeah, you're sad yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we valet you're there. everything. Yeah, dude. Like, they take your keys. A, there's a Viking general store that sells, you know, mutton joints if you want an extra one. If you haven't been to Excalibur so it's, it's in like Vegas, a renaissance it's like fair. that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But your buddy's dead and they, you light him on fire in the ocean. What about um, <laughs> uh, do the attendees wear Viking regalia as well? Or are we just yes. on street clothes? That's, no. that's, a package, that's a package option. Yeah. yeah. So that's an upgrade. It's an upgrade, yeah. yeah. You can you can upsell it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> look, if I die, because I told Jerry this, if I die, I want you guys all to dress up like Vikings. But I'll leave something in my will, enough money to pay for that upgrade. You know, like hey. Yeah. Guys. Well, I mean, we'll be we'll be owners of the business. Well, so, my life insurance know, yeah. policy, Jared Jared is the fucking uh, executor benefactor of that. It's fifty. <laughs> it's, like he's he's he gets fifty k 
but he's contractually required to do some weird shit at my funeral with it. Yeah, yeah. of course I'll do weird yeah. shit. You know, I, there'll be a mariachi band. Like, <laughs> I, look, I'd like to drink out of his skull. I don't know how hard that hey, is, but you still got you still got that for me. Yeah, out of my skull yeah, or yeah. any of our skulls. Yeah, well, yours if you die first, obviously. Yeah. But Jared, because Jared's already. He's already given me his skull. Well, the so only, yeah, the only, the only problem with drinking out of my skull is, you know, you're going to have to patch that bullet hole in it. Yeah, oh. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that, you piece of shit. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going real dark today. <laughs> hey, Jared, did you see that uh, Garth Brooks showed up somewhere with a Barry Sanders jersey Barry on? Sanders and people jersey thought he was on. a Bernie Sanders fan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Jesus like, fucking Christ, dude. Well, we're here. Bernie we're here Sanders, he hasn't been gone that long. Like He hasn't been out of the <laughs> NFL that long. People should still know who that is. He's one of the <laughs> top five running backs of all time. I think it's been about 15 years. It man. has, but it's not like it's fucking 60. Oh, Here's God. the thing, though. He was in I the, think it's because his number Detroit. was 20, though. It was, yeah, it, was, his it, it is. Was his number yeah, was 20. Yeah, but it's, it was in <laughs> Detroit, Michigan. I know. Dude, what the fuck? So the problem was Instagram. The way that Garth Brooks posted the photo, it was just it just said Sanders twenty on the back, and they couldn't see him, and he was getting ready to go out on stage, <laughs> and he didn't say he was in Detroit, you know. So it was just like, oh man, all these go read Garth Brooks Instagram feed. It just says, man, I'm so fucking disappointed, Garth. If you saw, if there was, a, yeah, if there was it's, a it's 20, disgusting. It's uh, like, yeah. oh my god, stick to music, stay out of. Po-. It's like, shut up, yeah. dude. Oh, hey, I, you know what's bigger news though? I don't know if you guys saw this yesterday about Prager U. <laughs> Did you see the Supreme Court ruled uh, on that case against YouTube? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. What happened? You got to look that up because that's it? big news. Um, it, Excuse me. Shit, dude. It's 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 called Prager U or something like Prager, that. Prager. P R A G E R. Yeah. So so they were suing YouTube for um, making some of their content that is conservative <laughs> content explicit. So you know, uh, saying that 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 was unfair to them and Supreme court ruled that it's their right to govern their, their business. However they want YouTube. So Ooh. yes. Oh, no wonder. So I, my- I talked about this six months ago that sometime soon, somebody is going to sue Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, et cetera. For- yeah. But YouTube won this suit, right? Yeah. YouTube won. Yeah. So it's, I mean, that sucks, but this one will go to the Supreme court eventually. And by the time it gets there, there'll be six conservative justices. Yeah, man. I look. The, the problem with this, all of this shit, is because like everybody's asking, like, "Hey, man, why isn't your YouTube channel exploded?" All of our content is demonetized, and like, there's been videos where we've had the terrorist whisper on, right? All he's talking about is his experiences in Iraq. There's nothing wrong with these videos, and uh, it it is real, man. They fucking hate all of us. To be honest with you, um, I wish that guy would have fucking won, man. God damn it, that sucks. I know. Yeah, it's not there yet. I mean, well, the thing is, is they're still saying that it's not. It since it's 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 a privately owned service, privately owned company. You're agreeing to their terms of service. You're using their their business, their platform, just because it blew up and became the public, you know, uh, kind of median source of of video content. Doesn't mean they have no rights to police what they want to be shown and what they do not want to be shown. Huh. Yeah, that's true. But when something becomes so ubiquitous that it b- becomes a de facto public utility, like cell phones, for example, there's there's Supreme Court rulings in the past that say you can't just tell somebody because of their political beliefs, even if they're factually incorrect, that they can't post them on there. Like you can say you can do what Facebook's doing, for example, and and Instagram and have that overlay that says this has been fact checked and correct, but you can't stop someone from posting it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's a political or religious belief or any of that shit, once it becomes, once the the service becomes big enough, you can't do that shit anymore. Yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> fuck. It, it's all of it's getting so goddamn crazy. There was a congressman who threatened uh, Don Jr. on air today, which I thought was pretty fucking on hilarious. air. On what air, do you yeah. threaten him with? On MSNBC. Um, what did he threaten? Representative John Garamendi, uh, Democrat, obviously, out of California. Big shock. Wow. Um, went on. Uh, They're doing well. Uh, went on NBC because Trump Jr. came out and said, look, man, it's as if Democrats want people to get sick from coronavirus because it's killing the market, the stock market. <laughs> and they think Democrats think truly that the only way to beat Trump is if if uh, the stock market crashes and the economy crashes. Which <laughs> and, is, So this is their new plan. Yes. And, and it's pro- he's probably right, to be honest with you. 
Um, so he says uh, he shouldn't be near me when he says that, Garamundi, or there's going to be a serious altercation. Oh, really? I would love to You're a to Democrat see. from California. You ain't fucking throwing <laughs> hands for shit. Like, Don Jr.'s from New York. Like, he'll fuck you up. <laughs> Do you think Don like, Jr.'s ever been in a fight before, though? Yes. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. He's, a, he's the son I mean, of a billionaire. It's unlikely. Yeah, he's Rich exactly. kids fight many, all the time many, in the yeah, basement. How man. many guys have had to... He, that means he's had to deal with, oh, is dad going to protect you? No, motherfucker. These fists are about to. Yeah. Like, all the time. <laughs> maybe. Um, I, it's pretty common. I don't know. Right? Let's go. Uh, let's let's fight him. They do fucked up shit. Let's all go fight Don Jr. I went to a Kennedy party and they were smoking crack in the basement. These kids and I was like, Jesus oh, yeah. Christ! <laughs> no, that's <laughs> serious. They don't fucking rich. Let's fight. Don- De- what are we? Are we testing John to make sure that he's that Don to make sure that he's I just want to make sure. What? And if he's not, you know, fighting well, then we I need mean, to get him there. You yeah, because Dakota's really calling our friends. Dakota's really into fucking uh, jujitsu right now. B- BJJ, yeah. so we could just send him down yeah. there to Texas for a while and let him fight Dakota. I mean, I, I had forgotten. I, so we're working on Nick, Dakota's new show. He's joining us on the um, on the media network. Um, we're working on his new show. Uh, the the guy who's doing his logo was asking for pictures and shit like that. The hilarious thing about Dakota is, and I forgot about this story. When you Google him, most of the stories that come up are about him fighting Dan Bilzerian. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. When he wanted to fight Dan Bilzerian on... Uh... Well, a lot of people tried to fight Dan Bilzerian, including Matt, and Dan would never agree to it. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't yeah. do it. But the fact that that's <laughs> still out there, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, shit. I remember I mean, that. that's also, too, I mean, that's kind of a fad that has come and gone. Like, Dan is is not mentioned ever. Like, he... He like popped up like, oh, this is cool. And now yeah. he's I feel like the know, tipping point from him was the Vegas situation. Like, like now, yeah. Now <clears throat> now he's merely like a like a like a B list club in Miami advertised mm. with appearance by Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I his his whole sh- it's weird, man. When you built a living off of Instagram, right? Or a following and all mm. that other shit, and there is no substance behind you or what you do, it's a very Quick fucking up and down. The like, yeah, there you down, go. Man. You're as high as you can get. Now you're just crashing down. Yeah, to the earth. people. The people. Now you're done. The people who are smart turn it into actual physical businesses that sell products. Right. And the people. Well, who, I believe he did too. I think he has a yeah. weed company. Uh, <clears throat> he's out in, of Vegas. Well, he was he rich before any of this started, though. Yeah. So it's he's fine. Yeah, he had a lot of his father's money. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, yeah, it's 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 strange to see the. Uh, because I, I never hear about him anymore, and the, like that was the, the first time I've heard about him in two years, I guess. Um, and then it was because Dakota wanted to fight him, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh <laughs> shit, I remember that." All right, so uh, you know, the funeral is over. Yeah, the funeral's over, and now it's time to read the will. Can so I would assume that one of the packages, if you want to call it a package. Here you, here you. God, you can Gilbert, have you Gilbert can have Godfrey reading the will. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, not Hello, that. Hello, everybody. No, <laughs> uh, it would be like some form of non-lethal home gun, right? Like you can't you can't have people fight to the death, but you can have a pugilist match of some sort, like boxing or yeah, sticks or something to decide who gets what from your estate. Right? A joust, a joust. You know what? Any, I, I any don't of know. Things. I don't know if I mean Dan. You're on to a whole separate idea here like yeah let's halt with the funeral and then let's start a new one where we use the location to hold like a a, a swingers retreat but it's all <laughs> home guns so so when you find the girl that you want you have to you fight have to challenge yeah. her mate to a fight <laughs> so what if what if you wanted to fuck that would be fucking what awesome. if you wanted to fuck hayden uh Panthier or whatever her name is yeah why her because she's married to the mountain, or, or no, Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, yeah, they're they're divorced now. Oh, they're yes. divorced. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, the mountain is married to a woman that's like about five foot two as well. That's funny, man. And he's six nine, and he's I mean he's the mountain. Yeah, they don't yeah. call him that because he's a hill. That's got to be mountain. a fetish, just dominating a smaller person. Well, there's only smaller people. If you're the goddamn mountain. Yeah, but you could throw down an NBA <laughs> player, a WNBA player, I'm like six three. Now, like, how really cool. funny would this be? Like. Swingers retreat. You have to home gun everything. Yeah. Oof. Like, man, man, and just that's a show. That's like if a you special. like if you want dinner, you have to fight the cook. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. You just for you to choose who you're swinging with, you have to home go home gun them. I think I think if you're gonna do that at a swingers retreat, you have to fight nude. Then. Yeah, I was gonna say fight it's naked. Be two, yeah. two, two, two dudes nude. 
Man, imagine I mean, that. Imagine I that see, barefoot. I see women's. Yeah, but I see women like being really into this. Like they get to see two guys fight for them. Nah. Like in front depends. of a crowd. In front of a crowd. Yes. There are there are girls out there that have a personality trait where they purposely try and get it's their not, dudes jealous all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's not because just a like couple seeing of them. them fight. It's not just a couple yeah. of them either. Like, think about jousting back in uh, in England throughout the fucking Middle Ages. There, whomever they were trying to court at the time, they would have them tie a favor, quote unquote favor, on their stick, on their jousting stick, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. has been going on for a long time. It has. I would, I would like to just hear it. Just hear the bare foot of a man connecting with the bare nutsack of another man, like in a nice <laughs> kick, and that <laughs> oh, that come fucking on. slap, that come crunching. On. Oh man, I'd love mm. to hear that noise. Like, like especially if, like, let's say the grass was wet. So you just kind of drug the top of your foot against the grass to get it wet. And then you were able to connect barefoot, wet on the top with a fucking dry nut sack. Holy <laughs> fucking shit, dude. The <laughs> sound that would make. just oh of the it, would make, it would be the sound of slapping a wet ham. Yeah. That's what it would sound like. <laughs> punching one. Yeah. Just punching a wet ham. I just got in a real tussle with my turkey out back a minute ago. That's right. You have a turkey. You were offended when I was like, "Man, I just want to punch that thing right in the face." Like, why would you want to punch? I was wrestling with it. Were you really? Well, I I wanted to hold him, and he was fucking being a bitch about it. So I had to like kind of fucking wrestle him. Yeah, I don't think turkeys are like into getting hugged and shit. Well, well, once I, you know, put it. Once I got him, like he liked it. He just hung out. Yeah, it was a look. It's you've got a big turkey too, by the way. I saw big turkey. Didn't Jeremy? Jeremy went to pick up ducks yesterday and broke down on the side of the road or some shit. What happened? Yeah, we've got ducks. We've got six ducks now. Well, he got three more or a couple more yesterday, right? Wait, he just took them off the side of the road. We had two. No, No, he went to buy them somewhere. Oh, all right. They're they're only six dollars a duck. Really? Ducks are cheap, bro. Yeah, I didn't know that. Where do you get? where, Where does one get a duck at? Texas tractor supply. No shit. And they just have yeah. ducks for sale for six bucks. Yeah. Just so how ducks, many? How many do you have at your house? Six. There's six. Okay. How many turkeys? Three. Th- those donkeys come in yet? Not yet. I'm on the waiting list. What was up with those goats at Black Rifle today? What's going on there? I don't know. Is I don't there, know. Are they filming something? I was or? up here looking for. I, I needed one more cable to make this oh. a lot better, and and they didn't have it. So. All right. Uh, um, hey, since we're talking about it, Black Rifle, let's get into the sponsors. We'll start with Black Rifle. Oh, what do you what do you got going on at Black Rifle do, uh, Coffee? Hey, right, right now. now, right now, uh, the RTD. You know, if you are in Ohio, ready or to Virginia, drink is what that stands ready for. Ready to drink. Those cans of succulent nectar are sitting at your gas stations right now. So keep an eye out when you go in for a Red Bull. When you go in for a Monster, kick those things out you don't need a bowl that's red sun and you don't need a big old green monster yeah. you need some coffee in your veins man everybody's Black posting coffee ready to drink yes everybody's posting these uh these cans and it's been a fucking frenzy online of like where can i get them so they're only in Scavenger. two states well they dropped off a bunch they dropped off like three pallets for me and matt down here and i think we're gonna try and do some fun scavenger hunt we're gonna hide them around san antonio oh that'll be awesome man <laughs> fuck yeah um, you know what you should do? You should hide them somewhere and just wait on them with uh, sim round rifles. Yeah, and light people also, up when they show up. To you know, them. why not? Big news too is uh, my landing page, which uh, became the joke of the Crenshaw podcast. Where, and this has happened multiple times. Where Ross, I don't know if you heard it. Like when you Google me, the first thing that comes up is JT Lander, which is the URL for my BRCC landing page. But people think JT Lander is my name. <laughs> <laughs> so my landing page on BlackRifleCoffee.com, which is BlackRifleCoffee backslash uh, JT, there in about 20 days, there's going to be limited products on there. So the camo hat that I generally wear, the black camo hat with the BRCC rubber patch yeah, that yeah. we never release – that hat's coming out and just only 200 are being released. The Black Rifle Pornhub, uh, you know, T-shirt, that's coming yeah. out. Only only, only a few being released. Uh, I'm doing a mug and then I'm doing a couple beer drinking bomb dropper items. And so those will change out with custom products that are all limited run with just funny shit I come up with like that relates to coffee. And then the other stuff will be bled out into the uh, Drinking Bro store because obviously we'll be – We'll be uh, releasing the Drinking Hub shirt shortly. Yep. Um, once we get once we get that store all back up and running. 
Awesome. Well, hey, if you're at home, um, you can go to BlackRifleCoffee.com and enjoy the finest coffee in the land. Promo code DRINKINGBROS20 on that. Can you buy the cans there? Are you shipping cans or no? Uh, they will be available. If, if they're not available yet, they're going to be available to ship shortly. There's a, there's a number of, uh, of ways that you're going to be able to get those, and I believe they're even working on a possible subscription. So if you are a Ooh. canned energy drink person, that likes these, you know, you're going to be able to buy them in bulk, uh, especially with Amazon. I believe, I believe we're working something with Amazon Prime. So you're just going to be able to prime yourself a couple, couple cases of drinks to keep, uh, keep in that fridge of yours. That's awesome, man. Because I, I fucking hate canned energy drinks. And whenever I'm on the road or whatever, I would rather get coffee, but it's all fucking Starbucks in the goddamn store. Yeah. So now it's going to be yours. I'm amped about that. It's great. Hooray, 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 hooray. Next up, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Sleep so good, it's scary. Ooh, it's, it Ooh. is scary. Uh, these deals are scary, man. Um, 25% off everything in the entire store right now. I got to tell you week. something about Ghostbed. You know, one thing that's great about Ghostbed is when you make a mess mm -hmm. on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just drag it out and sit it in the sun for about two hours, and it's good to go. Goddamn right it is. Uh, yeah, they, they've like also got covers. Direct sunlight. They made, direct sunlight. They made this for you. They've got covers that go over the mattresses now, so whatever fluid is coming out of you, be it semen, <laughs> piss, <laughs> or, or dookie. Um, or blood. Yeah, or blood. <laughs> dookie. Yeah, blood, too, or dookie. <laughs> um, if you're listening to Green Day and you got a little dookie coming out of you or your partner on the bed. Oh, God, Green Day. Yeah. I haven't heard, of, heard about them in a while. I hope you had the time of your life. Go to ghostbed.com really, forward slash drinking song, bros. Is that on that album? It is. It is on the dookie, dookie album. Yeah, that's on dookie album. Dookie. Yes, it is. Yeah. Time of your life. Come on. Don't, on don't ever go against Jerry with 90s yeah. fucking I mean, I, fake I went punk to, bands. I, I went to a concert in the year 2000, and it was a no-name band opening that played 10 of their songs as fast as they could because no one knew who, the, who they were. They were called Jimmy Eat World. Really? Um, yeah, I knew Green that. Day and yeah. Blink-182. That was the show. Wow. That's a banger yeah. of a show back then. Um, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. 25% off everything in the, in the entire store. Also, if you use the 36 month page, you go program no interest that is still applicable. So you can get the 25% off and then, uh, not pay and, or worry about it for a long, long time. Nimrod is the name of the album. It's on whatever. Oh shit. You, Jared, you just 1997, lost. 1997. Uh, uh, I yeah, hope you he had the time right. of your life. He is right. Yeah, it was later right. in the 90s. He didn't come out until 2000. Wow, dude. Yeah. Jared, you just went yeah. down. Uh, right. Last but not least, we got KillCliffCBD.com. Uh, love love this, man. Is that is that... I'm looking at those Kill Cliff cans right there. Is those butt plugs right next to that Kill Cliff? Yes, can? It correct. Is. Craig correct. Dulesky wow. and uh, Reed White and uh, Ruben Schneider sent those in. Uh, so for, for grab yourself a Kill Cliff and use a butt plug. Here's the thing, man. If you need to, if you need to, let's say you are using a butt plug for the first time. <laughs> there's no better way to loosen up your asshole with a can of CBD. 25 milligrams. You'll be nice and relaxed to get a little. Wait. Uh, <laughs> Are right you saying that you tutor. should put the can in your butt? Nope. I'm saying you should drink the, drink can, the can and then put the butt butt plugs inside yeah. of you. The yep. plug. I is, just drink the can. Plug in the butt. Yeah, don't the butt. get that. Yeah. Don't don't drink the plug. I'm gonna put I'm gonna pitch that to Kill Cliff in the next the next meeting. Is yeah. uh, hey guys, we got a new slogan. Uh, drink the CBD and then put the plug in your butt. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, drink up and plug yeah, up. Yeah. 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 Drink up, plug up. I like that. There we go. Drink yeah. up, comma, plug up, and it's like. The whole drink up and plug up. It's a full on <laughs> marketing campaign. They just did a huge deal recently. Uh, so they've done two huge deals all throughout the southeast at a lot of grocery stores. Their normal and are their normal workout products are going to be available. And mm -hmm. here very soon, they're going to go into like th thousands of stores with their CUD product as well. It's happening very very soon. It is great. the best in the business, man. You will not piss hot for it either and they you won't test for it no thc all hemp and it's kill cliff it's a name you can trust yeah and the flavors are amazing there's no carbs no sugars and they're like 15 calories man um i drink one every single night i buy it i use my own promo code which is drinking bros 20 20 percent off with drinking bros and free shipping it's the best killcliffcbd.com uh grape is my jam i know you're an orange guy i am yeah Grape's hey so uh so after yesterday you know i spent all day with dakota uh of Another thing is he too, flew over to your coming. house in a helicopter he and did. landed in your front yard. He did. He did. 
uh, and that was really fun. And then we we went flying for a little bit too. But you know, we are gonna um, we are gonna be partnering with Flipside Canvas to have our own drinking bros tab. So all this art that that you've seen in the history uh, of the show, you know, your area 51 back there, the yep. drinking bros heads and everything like that. We're about to start offering that. So you can purchase this stuff for your man caves and things of that nature. Like an Etsy style thing where you can order your own products with whatever logo you want on there. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, 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 no. We'll have our, our own line over there. Okay. Um, our arsenal. That, that, yeah, yeah. Where where the group of us decide, you know, hey, let's put out these five pieces for the for these months, and then we'll change those out over the as time goes on. Because man, there is a big request for things like the Lincoln's box seats and yep. like yeah. Josh Hopkins. <laughs> Josh um, Hopkins. If you if you yeah, throw a Josh Van and Ham poster up, I've been hit up a million times for Van and Ham posters. We have none. Well, of do you stuff. have one? Have you made one? I don't. We got the five. We've, we've got we, the we, artwork. Yeah, we've got the artwork. Um, you have to make one. And you know, <laughs> my latest project is. Uh, you guys are gonna love this. I'm having. I'm having our wonderful artist that, uh, you know, we keep his name secret because we don't want anybody stealing him yeah, from yep. us because we love yeah. him. Um, he's doing another giant mural like my uh, Rick and Morty deal that he did. Oh, yeah. But it's, uh, it's me and my two daughters murdering Epstein on an island uh, while uh, uh, girls in cages cheer for us. Now, are your daughters going <laughs> to see this? Uh, no, no. I mean, it's just going to hang somewhere, <laughs> but you know, Lux is going to be in the air with a katana, like cutting his right arm off. Yeah. Like I've, I'm holding a chain. Like I've got a, I had thrown a bear trap at him and it snapped onto his chest. And then Charlotte is like coming in hot with a crossbow. Father of the year, Jared Taylor. Cause you know, <laughs> it's going to be front and center in the kitchen. And it's just like, hey. <laughs> last time I was at your house, there was a rated R movie on as loud as it would go. There was fuck every other word. And the kids were just chilling, playing just right beneath it. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, amazing. 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 Uh, look, there's, there's a fuck ton of shit going on in the world today. Um, is, this a, is this a news? Are we doing news today? No, it's not. It's not a news oh. day at all, man. Oh, okay. Um, What's going on in the world? But I, I, I wanted to get your opinion on this, chair. There was a dog just tested positive for coronavirus. So a dog. Did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you know what that's, you know, you know what that means is somebody was he, fucking their dog. No, making out with a dog, sucking no, dogs. Somebody, dick. No, that means that somebody has had a successful human dog test. Maybe. Because now it's just turned back into the dog. Well, China has sewn a human face onto an, a monkey. A monkey, yeah. That's a real thing that they've done. Yes. Is there pictures? Uh, I'm sure you could find some somewhere if you looked. I don't, they killed I, the doctor once, yeah. once he reported yeah. it. Because he was like, hey. Why? He was like, dude, this is too fucked up. And then China killed the doctor. Yeah. So they're doing it oh, in secret. God. Yeah. <laughs> um, who the fuck knows what's going on? I mean, what we talked about this on the news two weeks ago, but uh, China just sent like, what was it, 40 industrial incinerators yep. to Wuhan where the fucking outbreak Wuhan. originally occurred? Got you so all in chairs. They're, they're just like pushing people into supply. Yes, yes, they are just annihilating people over there now. So this one, this <laughs> is so. Uh, there was a chicken in Hong Kong. Uh, she had the coronavirus. She tested positive for it, uh, and her dog um, has the fucking virus now. And it's like, all right, how how does that happen? I think it would be uncommon for. Uh, a dog to be able to carry the same virus that a human could. That's it's, what I think. Like rabies is one thing. Yeah, that's, maybe that's maybe that's just maybe we don't even know if that's well, confirmed. Pig, with pigs, it's very common. So like the plague was rats and pigs. There's yep. a lot of diseases over the years because pigs genetically are very similar to human beings, but dogs aren't really that similar. But who the fuck knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like dogs, right. dogs, can, right. dogs can pass rabies, and that's viral. So why not? Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe I don't know, man. But they, this this fucking dog's all. I mean, if you're here. like wiping your nose and shit all over your dog while your dog's licking your face and stuff, maybe that's how it gets the coronavirus. Maybe I don't know if uh... is that Simpsons episode <clears throat> really real? Have you guys seen that which that one image circulating around? That there was a type in Simpsons coronavirus, Dan. You'll see this image that comes up. There's this meme that there was a Simpsons episode in 1998 that. Okay. Uh, Chinese Chinese workers were sneezing into boxes, and then it gave it gave uh, everybody in in Springfield the coronavirus. Like it was actually on the news in the Simpsons. No shit. I'm looking on Politifact right now. Hang on. Yeah. Um, it says pants on fire. 
So no. What? Oh, um, it, it, that's not <clears throat> true. Um, hey, but here's what is true about the Simpsons. Um, they're they're getting rid of the Apu character because it's too fucking racist. So you know that that's the going, Simpsons right? still going. Oh yeah, Simpsons is still fucking killing it, my man. I yeah. didn't even know it was still on. Yeah. So they've got this uh, Sunday night block called Animation Domination. Who isn't, like, why? That's not racist. He's yeah. an Indian gas station attendant. Uh, well, and, and so here's the thing. There was a documentary that came out last year that just said uh, it was all about a poo and how it is that character is single-handedly changing the way that people view Indian people, that they all talk like no, that. It's not. They all work at convenience stores and all that other shit. No, so, I don't. I, no, I, I, no. Know, I know quite a few Indian people. They sound how they sound. Some of them sound like a poo. And some of them sound like me yeah. because they were born here. Like, yeah. like if you we were need born to fucking, in India. We need to bring back the definition of, of, of what is racist. You need to say yeah. when you are withholding service from somebody because of their race when you are promoting hate of someone because of their race not not basing a character off of a stereotype that is not racist like you are not we we are not you know the simpsons isn't isn't making this you know trying to turn this character into an evil person that's disgusting that you you now you know uh start start pushing hate towards those type of people it's just a character yeah. so this whole like this is racist bullshit just has to st- like people need to have the balls now to just stand up and go no it's not like when karen mm. wants to tattle anymore like now we just need to say nah <laughs> nah we're yeah. good i mean we're it's good it's on we're good on that the only the the last refuge is comedy and now it's even you know infiltrating I mean, luckily the stand-up like the people who are part of bigger organizations uh, have folded here and there, except for like Seth MacFarlane. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. As a matter of fact, his stuff is getting worse. Even, even South, as, South Park uh, has always been bad. They're never going to fucking It's weird, change. though. Seth MacFarlane in real life has changed, but his comedy has not. No, the comedy is getting worse. Yeah. Like, especially but on you American gotta look Dad. At, like, it's getting the worse. The Army-Navy game, like, mm-hmm. for example, <laughs> the, the post the Army-Navy game, yet again, some dipshit reporter from some dipshit news agency you know, says controversy is sparked as white power image is shown by cadets and it, and it led to an investigation. No, the commander of West Point should have literally, his statement should have been, no, that's not the white power symbol. You guys need to fucking get over this bullshit and shut up. Like, yeah. And then what? What do you say to that? Oh my God, I'm I'm outraged that the commander would tell us to shut up. Who cares? It'd like, be funny if he just up. walked out on stage with a big like a dossier, bunch of papers, like did like this, looked at him, put him down, took his glasses off, looked up at the camera and just said, "Shut the fuck up," and then picked his shit up, up and just walked right off yeah. the stage. <laughs> just shut up because just that's shut up. That's what with it's, your bullshit. That's about the amount of effort that this whole argument is worth at this point. Yes, yeah. it like, is. Yeah. We've now been playing just... this game where you have to have like a circle below, up, your, waist. below your waist for fucking, and, since I was a six-year-old child, that's yeah. the first time I'm And if I, I can that. put my finger into it and before break it. you uncup yeah. your hand, yep. now I get to punch you. Yeah. It's a fucking game. It's a punching game, and it's been a punching <laughs> game for a thousand years. And some fucking fat neckbeard on 4chan said, oh, no, that's actually... A lot of people don't know this, but it's actually a white power symbol. And he did it to cause that. And good for him. It worked. Or her. Yeah. Whomever, yeah. whomever it was, him or her. You Warrior did it. companion. That was a really good troll. Um, did you hear uh, that the Pope said to give up trolling for Lint? Yeah. You got you to gotta give it up. Yeah. He, he did. he's a cool Pope. Well, you yeah, know? He can, he's a well, good sexy thing I Pope. Good thing I ain't Catholic and I don't give a shit about the Pope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat a bunch of meat today. It's Friday. I'm going to eat a bunch of meat and I'm going to troll. Ever, like, that's, I'm going to get super high tonight, eat a steak with my bare goddamn hands. Yeah. And uh, blaspheme and troll people the entire time. You should. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, while like listening to. Evening. This is fucking America. I'm gonna while do listening to Eminem. Eminem. You know? Slim Shady. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing I was talking about the other day with with a couple of people is like, do you if you really analyze the cycle that we've kind of come in? I mean, Ross, you you were real familiar with this. Oh, yeah. In 19 in 1998, <laughs> 1999, the year 2000, 2001, like the blame game was on music and video games mm-hmm. like any like they tried to like Hillary Clinton attempted to remove Eminem's album from shelves. 
Oh yeah, yeah. and Tipper Gore Where tried to do it fifteen Gore, years before yeah. she did. Yeah. You you look at that today, like no one's no one's even touching that today. You know what I mean? No one's even saying we should we should take this album out. Murder on my mind. We shouldn't listen to that. Well, as long like, as no one even touches that. As long as it's not a, a white person from the South saying that stuff. Because <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, like, look, I'm I'm not one to play the race card certainly, and I think both sides of this argument are pretty fucking stupid sometimes. But if uh, the whole like bitch whore line of thinking towards women in the rap community that is just why, like you said, it is widely accepted now. Oh, that's just how it is, and it's. It is politically unpopular, particularly if you're part of the woke left crowd, to criticize anybody that's not a white dude. Like if you if you say anything about <laughs> yeah. like it's like a Puerto yeah. Rican woman, but she's like fourth generation. She's always lived here, so her Puerto Rican identity is like. I mean, it is what it is. You see it zero, at home, but, yeah. but out in public, her life in public has nothing to do with that. She just happens to be a little bit darker than me. That's the only difference yeah. between us as human beings, uh, exactly like culturally in our upbringing and shit. Yeah. So <clears throat> even now, if I criticize her. Like, oh, what do you hate Puerto Ricans? Like, yeah, I do. Big time. That's why I fucking go there once a year and hang out. Because I hate them so much, you fucking dummy. Shut up. It's uh, only we, getting worse. We got a pretty we got a pretty a pretty dope invitation that I'm working right now that would be epic. Um members of uh of Whiteman Air Force Base have invited us to go out there and do a show in front of a B two stealth bomber. Oh shit! That'd be fucking dope. That photo alone, yeah, it would be legendary. Would be fucking awesome. Legendary. <laughs> the they... first podcast to be in front of a B two stealth bomber. Where? Where is that? What state is that in? Kansas City. Yeah. No shit. Yep. Yeah. Fucking a, dude. I love Kansas City. It's great. It so I'm really excited about that. If we can pull that off, like that's like a that's like a fucking poster. Yeah, that'd be a blast. That'd be a blast. Kansas City. Sitting yeah, we we went there uh, for the uh, AFC, AFC championship. championship. Yeah. Great food, great people, man. I really fucking enjoyed Kansas City. Yeah, a great it's time a good there. city. Yeah, fun city to party in, man. I you could get loose on the barbecue there, Jared. Oh, Lucy Lou. Yeah, what's your what's your favorite in Texas besides that gas station you took me to? Yeah, that place is terrible. I, I don't know why. Shat my pants. Yeah, dude. the one that's on the the one that's on the way to the ranch. That place, I don't like it. We've been doing. We've been. We've been. We got the Traeger here now. You know, Traeger, oh, yeah. oh. fucking dope Traeger, and you know, Street Bike Tommy and his recipes. Yeah. Dude, we've done it all. I've we've got. A I've got a Traeger at my house, dude. I, we just smoked a pork butt. It's the fucking yeah. best, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You got the one great. with the Wi Fi on it. Yeah. Yeah, so you just walk away. <laughs> and, like, I've got the Drinking Bros tent, so I just sit in the front yard under the Drinking Bros tent with the Traeger going, and then I, you know, every, like, hour or so, I do a couple laps on the dirt bike. Yep. You know, just just to, just to kind of get the wind in my hair. Of course, dude. You got to stretch yeah. out. You your hair, your hair's going legs pretty long. Both, both cats just hang out with me. You know, Whiskey and TK just stand around and stare at the turkeys. I can't and, believe that that, that yeah, cat how is, is still TK alive. still alive? Yeah. I, dude... That that cat has survived so many climates that should have killed like her. Like Salt Lake City winter. Like, well, El Paso summer. summer. And then San Antonio summer. San Antonio, but San Antonio when the girls lived at a, in, that backed into a state park. Yeah. Like there were coyotes yeah, all coyotes over the place. Yeah. Yeah. TK, TK was fine, and now she lives, you know, on eight and a half acres in the middle of nowhere. Still fine. Like, yeah. That cat's a survivor. It is. I was watching uh, the Taylor Swift doc the other night, just because I, I wanted to see what it, what the hype was all about. She that film opened up Sundance. It's on Netflix yeah. now. Uh, you know, she built a special backpack for her cat. That is, oh, that's dope. It's got fucking. Uh, it's, speaking of cats, though, it's, it's carved like if out. Any listener, it's carved out like a space station, so you can oh, see man. the cat can see <laughs> out of it. It can breathe properly, and it is a normal backpack with uh, like a face mask. Correct. For so the, the cat, yes. So there's and there's three of them on the back, so the cat can breathe properly. What the fuck? And you she can, just wears it in she, a backpack. She lives in L.A., right? You can just get yeah. your fucking pets cloned for fifty k there. Why are you worried about a goddamn cat? That I don't much? know. She takes it with her everywhere on the road, though. She travels a lot. Oh my god. That's yeah. stupid. Um, speaking of cats, if any of the listeners have a a rag doll, I I need a a female rag doll unspayed. The fuck is yeah, a rag doll? Oh, by the way. That's that's what whiskey is. It's a he's a purebred ragdoll. But okay, so digging into this like that's a type of cat. Pure, yeah, it's a type of cat. A breed of cat. Rag, yeah, I've never heard yeah, of that. Ragdoll cats are disgusting. Look it up. Look it up. It's I, beautiful. Yeah, look up a ragdoll, Dan. I'm looking I, it up um, now. I understand. Uh, yeah, but 
dude, you would cats, you would you but... would lose your mind diving into the world of animal breeding because people are fucking cocksuckers about it. Like, oh, I, I understand like, that they hold they hold yeah. your papers until you bring back neuter paperwork. Yeah, it's like I paid full price for this fucking animal. Shut the fuck up and give me the fucking papers. I bought a dog from an expensive breeder one time because I wanted this specific breed of dog. Yeah. And uh, I understand that. If world. I pay, if I pay full price for for the animal, though, like like if you're yeah. if you're gonna if you're if you're gonna force me to neuter or spay the animal, then you're giving me it half price. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Do you <sighs> are is the cat spayed or neutered yours? No. Oh boy, we that's... got a we got a male. Oh, I need, really? I need a, yeah, he's just out there female. fucking, man. Oh, if you've got a he's male, gorgeous. If you've got a male yeah. cat, it doesn't matter. It's not like he's going to pay child support, dude. The we cat. don't need any fucking more cats in this world. I hate cats so much. Dude, I, I, I wouldn't mind having, you know, about... 10 to 12 more ragdolls running around the property i like i like God. i like cats and dogs did you dogs show them did you show them what a what a ragdoll looks like it looks like the cat that you have it's yeah, yeah. they, they it's all look, they all cat. look the same oh yeah it looks like every other fucking cat on the goddamn planet no i mean like hey, cal- calicos on, are different tabby. Man, tabbies are tabby. different siamese are different there's a lot of different types of cats oh, look, i mean I, look, i'm look. not a fan of the hairless cats those the, are ugly as the shit. chinese eat them for doesn't charlie have two of those yeah i think so and he's got two French bulldogs or some shit. Yeah, I, I don't remember. So he just got the hairless cat just be, just to do it, like he's not allergic or anything. Um, well, French bulldogs are not hypoallergenic, so I doubt it. Yeah, my my aunt had one of those hairless cat hairless cats because she was allergic to it. She's super yeah. lonely and wanted a fucking animal, and uh, it was that goddamn thing. I said, "Look, man, you're never going to get married again if this is what I mean, run around it's your just, house. It doesn't look cute. It's no. not like, oh man, no. there's my cute pet." No, it looks like a fucking nutsack. Yeah, it does, man. It looks With like a cat. It looks like a, it looks like somebody took a. If you could have, if you could have any pet, any any animal in the world that 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 okay, here's here's the setup. It's able to be trained and be like your best friend. What would it be? Probably um, a monkey of some sort. A monkey? Yeah, probably. I, I mean, or a giraffe. One of those two. I worked with a miniature donkey one time, <laughs> and I enjoyed. Yeah. I enjoyed the shit out what, of that. What, like at Costco or something? What do you mean you worked with one? I I, uh, <laughs> I, I did a sh- I, I did a show for MTV, <laughs> and so you have to hire them, and they come down with a trainer and the oh, whole yeah. thing for the day. It's a whole fucking situation. It really is. Like, 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 like you have to get. Jesus we've done it at Black Rifle where you have to get briefed on how to. Oh yeah. Be around the there, animal. There's an, an hour long dude. Shit show, dude. There's an hour you know long briefing. Everything else. And you guys had to when they when you. You made the fuck ISIS video. You had to distract the trainer at the front of the building so uh, homeboy, so Josh, so Josh could goat. fuck it in the back alley. Did you ever hear that story? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yes. So you know that scene in the music video "Fuck ISIS" where yeah. Josh is fucking the because he plays the terrorist in every single goddamn Black Rifle video. For yeah, some yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, he's like butt fucking the goat, but they had to keep uh, the lady at the front. Like, they were distracting her at the front so they could shoot that scene in the back. Did she ever see it is the question. I can't imagine. She does, she's Doubt not, the, she's not, the, de- she's not, not the key demo for that kind of content. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's not on there looking for fucking Some, la- ISIS, some lady know? that's a fucking goat trainer. You know what I would want? <laughs> yeah. What, is it? Want, what, do you, what do you want? I, I would want an emperor penguin. Yeah, yeah, those are pretty dope. Yeah, those are cool. Well, just imagine like I would let it, I would let it sleep in my room and it just sleeps standing up like just like just in a corner just – Face in a corner. Yeah. They the sleep. Th- th- those animals sleep uh, standing up. I think up? so. Yeah. Yeah. Really? They sleep standing up. I didn't know that. Um, would you? Would you carry it around in like a baby Bjorn or something? How would you travel with? Oh it? yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. put it in a baby Bjorn. That's the on only my chest. thing about a giraffe. Like a giraffe is a cool animal. I'm really a big fan of them, but you couldn't really move around with it too much. So if I was going mobile, I would say monkey, one of the small ones, mm-hmm. and I would have him in a fucking baby Bjorn always. I mean, nice. Even when I'm fucking. Well. Uh, I think the monkey's going to yeah, reach out and grab it. Yeah, he habits. works the nips while, <laughs> while I'm choking habits. and slapping. He's working the nips. <laughs> while I'm choking while and slapping choking and he's... And sla- <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having that conversation with, with, your, with your partner now. My monkey's going to oh work the God. nips. I'm going to be choking and slapping you. That's uh. going to be part of my fucking prenup, bro. <laughs> 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 We've already got uh, our guys working on the paperwork on that one. The monkey works the nips, dude. <laughs> I'm going hunting tomorrow. Are you really? Well, I mean, we're f- I'm filming a hunting video. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing my red tracksuit. <laughs> of course. N- yeah. Nothing will draw animals closer than and, a red tracksuit. I'm bringing track a Mosin Nagant. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> yeah. 
Why don't you just get it's a, gonna be funny? Why don't you just get a Springfield 03 since you're going Davy Crockett style era weapons? What the fuck? Because I want my Mosin and a gun. Do you own one or are you getting it from John or something? No, I own one. I own a a, a cavalry like mm. shorty Mosin. Oh shit! Okay. What are you guys shooting tomorrow? <clears throat> uh, I mean, it, we're going after pigs. Okay. <clears throat> so from the helicopter. Uh, we're gonna go up in a helicopter, but um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what Baker set it up. So. Oh, so we'll see. I got a camera guy. Baker, as far as setting up hunts and stuff, is pretty legit. He's about he's one of the more legit people out there. Yeah, he does stuff. look great. Like I've got the best feed I've ever had right now. Yeah, this ah, looks really good, you guys. Thank you like, very much. This, yeah. yeah, this internet is boss. That it I is got. like. Yeah, we're both on fiber now, so we can do uh, sometime maybe not next week because we're going to be traveling and shit. But uh, the week after next, we can probably do the. Fake news live from two separate locations. That we're gonna try. There we go. Which would be great. That, yeah. 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 That'd Hell be fantastic. yeah. That. Yeah. And we we we've been going live inside Facebook groups. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. All week this week to mm-hmm. test the equipment. It's going fucking great. Yeah. You and I like shit. I called you. We did an hour show at like midnight, and we just talked about yeah. all kinds of fucking weird shit. It was fun. Yeah. We had, we had a real goddamn good time. Um, but yeah, uh, Dan is going out to L.A. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Bert Koontz. Gonna go. You're see not him. coming here tonight. No, I can't. Dick. I have to do shit. And then I'm going to see, I'm going to Bert's to, uh, are going to LA to hang out with Bert and a couple, and the SEAL team guys. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I'm following Bert back to Wyoming because we're working on something very special for Drinking Bros and Tetherball yes. Media. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, super excited about that. We love Bert Coons, <clears throat> by the way. He's one yep. of our favorite people on this. Earth. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the, probably by the end of this weekend, I'll have the TV and the Xbox installed. So Drinking Bros Gaming will fire back or fire up on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll have, we'll have, we'll be doing that with Mary as well. So I'll yep. be able to sit down at the desk and play you and I can play. So we'll that's be, dope. Uh, how, how good are you yeah. in video games, by the way? I, dude, you know, I, I, I'm it's not a, like, yeah. but Mar- I, I, Mar- I do I know Mary's a fucking boss. She's a real dude, gamer. I do know how to talk some shit. We just do it yeah. to have fun. Yeah. Like when our, when we originally thought of this, it was a couple of years ago and it's like, yeah. it doesn't matter what we're playing or how good we're at it. We're just going to fucking shit talk each other the whole time and say, Oh dude. Shit. Yeah. We, we had done it. We had filmed a sample when we first moved to Salt Lake mm-hmm. with all of us and it was funny as shit. <clears throat> Yeah, man, uh, Mary Diggs, like she take, she takes this shit seriously. Mm. She's really goddamn yeah. good. There's a lot of like, I wouldn't say professional gamers, but there's a lot of serious gamers in the Drinking Bros community. Yeah, a lot. I don't know how many's in that group, but a lot. There's a lot. Well, I'm and, excited. And, and I want to have fun. Yeah. How many? Ooh, how many people are in Amazon's Ner- Drinking Bros? Nerds has uh, like ten thousand. Thirty thousand? No, it's really? Like thirty? Twenty or thirty? Yeah. She is. Let's see. Let me look. She is. Let me look here. It's twenty-one thousand. There you go. Twenty-one thousand. One a thousand. No way. Yep. Uh, a lot of people. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this year, since we're we're all fucking just getting drunk, talking shit today. Um, a lot of people were asking if the Drinking Bros TNA page is real. <laughs> is it? You know what? Uh, I'm not in it, it. It 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 is. I I have not seen any. We're not supposed to talk about that, but oh really? <laughs> because what happens is is it gets flooded, and then the two that run it are like, God damn it! You mentioned on the show, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that's so funny, yeah, man. It's it's kind of invite only, you know. <laughs> so send me an invite. I want one. Okay. Just don't. No, nobody has see, to know about it. I haven't seen any traffic from it in a while, so I, I'll, I gotta I gotta dig in there. Is everything still saved though from like the ghost of Christmas yeah. past? Oh, yeah, great. pretty much. Yeah, send yeah. me an invite. I'd like to see a, a tit here and there. You know, yeah, something yeah. To, just something to keep my spirits up. You know? Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> keeping them spirits up. You know, <laughs> there really is nothing like it, isn't there? Is it'll no, if, if you see a good set of titties, man, it'll stop you wherever you are. Where you're like, yeah, but man. it's also there's there's a you know with the internet, you know, you could see. You, you, you could you could not consume you know a tenth of the porn in a lifetime but on the internet. Here's, but there's here's something where it's about different. people yes. that you know. Yes, like when you see like that's why you know <laughs> I love swapping videos and photos with other couples. I like, said that's fun as shit. I, I was talking uh, to a girl this morning, and uh, she heard what we were talking about on the show the other day. Mm-hmm. With my old quote from like a year ago, where I said I'll watch anybody have sex with anybody else at yeah. any time for any reason. Yes, and she goes, <laughs> she goes, that's a mouthful. I'm like, uh, that's what she said. Yeah, but anyways, uh, I was like, so you're telling me, 
if two people you know were fucking and you walked into the room, how long would it take you to walk out of that room? If oh, you, no, if I would, would want to. Can you, I stay? If you didn't immediately startle them. Like, if you walked in and it was around a corner and they were being so, they were, it was going on so hard that wow. they didn't really notice you, how long would you watch before? And at least, the answer is always at least a couple seconds. Like, I'm going to fucking look. I, w- I would watch I would more than that. Like, I would go at least probably four or five I minutes. Ask. If they, if, I, well, ask, I wouldn't yeah. ask. But if they felt uncomfortable and they were like, "Hey, bro, get the fuck out of here," I'd be like, "Oh shit, yeah. I'm right. sorry." You, you gotta like, make you your you gotta open. make your presence known. It's like being in the subway late at night and there's a woman walking in front of you. You you make a lot of noise so she knows that you're not trying to be sneaky, right? Mm. So same thing. You walk in on somebody yeah. fucking and you you make noise like you close the door louder or, <clears> or yeah, <throat> you yeah. cough or something. Yeah, like coughing. And look, if you cough or slam the door and you know that they heard you and they don't say anything back, that to me is tacit agreement. Yeah, so you're allowed yeah, I to agree be to that, that yeah. right? I, I would feel better about it if I could bring in like a sandwich, right? Something to disarm yeah, I them. Eat, or I would eat and Cheetos, then I would ask yeah. if I could film. Uh, I, I look, I, I would bring in like a nice six inch, um, but the meal. Like I'd have the chips and then I'd have the, yeah. the drink. I would the, go, I'd go Cheetos probably or Doritos, one of those two. I don't want something so crunchy that they're distracted. So like a Cheeto would do it where it's just like, all right. I would wait to eat the chips uh, when he's slamming ass or something like that right like when there's yeah, you want when, louder noise when there's clapping going i on. do that in movie theaters if i know something is loud that i'm about to eat yeah i will wait for a scene that has a lot of action mm-hmm. or or mm. sound where i'm like all right cool man because i don't want to distract everybody else i do the same thing when i'm uh when i'm uh taking shits mm. i play like really loud mm. war propaganda <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> So I know, <laughs> I know when uh, when uh, Hitler is gonna get loud in those speeches. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh yeah. Jesus, and you Christ. really let it go. <laughs> yeah. You really let it go. <laughs> it's the people in gyms who have no like a- awareness. Because uh, if you ever go into like a big gym, typically there's five, ten stalls in there. Everybody's taking a shit. But the problem with everybody being at a gym is they've got headphones on, so they're listening to music, <clears throat> and they're not really concerned with how noisy their Noise. shits are yeah so like i mean there was one guy where it was i mean it was just like he was ripping endless phone books in mm. half and i was like jesus <laughs> christ you gotta get a hold of yourself Speak- but he can't hear me he Speak- can't hear me He's got speaking, headphones speaking of ripping phone books is that thing that christian strongman thing is that still around is yes. that a thing still oh yeah, yeah do you yeah. remember do you remember that jared where those people would talk about the power of jesus and rip phone books in half and rip stuff? phone books and they can throw oh like my god and blow, up, over blow up like whoopee cushions really big and yep. stuff and bend iron and like what the fuck all of that still exists but like you lifted weights dude hey. that didn't have anything to do with jesus well he's he's our lord and savior and he's the one that gave us the power provided so, yeah. that's true <laughs> that still has no Effect on the fascial tissue and your muscles, motherfucker. Well, no, uh, it, nope, yeah, nope. Jesus, no, nope. he's uh, <laughs> no. he's the cause of everything. So. No, I, but Jesus was probably <laughs> ripped, right? I mean, he was a carpenter. Shredded. I, I always say I want a Christ like. He was always walking. Yeah, he was walking. Always walking. He's walking a lot. Didn't I, have a lot of food, and he, you know, wasn't keto though. He ate a lot of bread. Yeah, yeah a lot of bread. But every t- every look, every church you go into, and you see him on the cross, he's shredded. He's got a six pack. They never give Jesus a non six pack at a church. Yeah, why is that? Why isn't there a it's fat true. Jesus? Well, because he's got to be white. He's got to be blonde, yeah, blue-eyed, but when, but when, and when, when six-pack. When white Jesus came out, like in the fucking third, fourth century, when that started becoming a thing, right? why, like, being obese was a sign of wealth? Yeah. So are they trying to make Jesus look poor? Yes. Is that, you think that's part of it? Correct. Can that, again, that's part of the thing. Like, if, if a rich guy died on the cross... Yeah. No one would really give a shit. Yeah, like but if, that would if be a was, bigger sacrifice. If it was Dude, you know what I noticed recently, though? If Bloomberg died on the cross, nobody would fucking care. Yeah. No. Mm. Like, like uh, billionaire. There, are there any good movies about the expansion of the railroad? No. No. Like, there's such... I mean, there's a good TV show. There's such crazy there's, stories. There's Hell on Wheels like, and uh, Blazing Saddles. Those are the only two that I know of. Yeah, but it's like, there are so many crazy stories about them just, like, careless like sacrificing fucking people oh yeah for like, this fucking thing like chinese and people like, getting thrown into fucking ravines and shit trying to build or like they would find uh they would find like quicksand and shit out mm-hmm. there and they would just send people down into the quicksand to get the materials back yeah. out and stuff like what the fuck <laughs> yeah man That's still a human being it is like, and it isn't oh my god <laughs> were they, how much were they worth <laughs> yeah exactly you That's know probably what, what they said yeah and then uh you know Look, I, I did a the, the railroad thing, man. I did a obviously I did a full fucking book on it. I 
that shit is so fucking insane to me. Um, but the problem is, it was all Asians and shit. Like you know, Asians the, and slaves. Well, yeah. it was Irish. It was Irish. Yes, yeah, correct. It was indentured I, servants I, from Ireland and China, and yep. then slaves, yep. black slaves, and then also people uh, from the war, like Revolutionary War, who were well, they not were Revolutionary the, War, the um, Civil War, yeah. Civil War. They were, were they they were foremans and shit, though. Correct. But yeah. all the people who were actually doing the work were owned by somebody, whether yes. temporarily or permanently. Yeah. So it's it, obviously there's not a whole lot of human rights, you know. Fucking, not at all. <laughs> not a lot of people were fucking. Not at all. Really into that back then at all. <laughs> but that that fucking story is crazy as shit, and it, it would be an awesome movie. But they would have I to know. white or it up. Or a series like a. Well, like how, a how on wheels or... was really great on uh, AMC, yeah. um, and they did a great job with it, and it was on. For, how long? How long a series was that? I think three seasons. Four, I think four or five. Um, yeah. It was. Uh, Common was in it. Oh, I was thinking of. Uh, the one with Timothy Oliphant. What was that one? Uh, the Western one. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, the uh, that's Deadwood. Deadwood, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That Deadwood. was three seasons. Yeah. Um, Deadwood was really good. Deadwood is about the railroad? No, no, no. Nope. It's no, about Deadwood. Okay. It's about Deadwood, but they, they had aspects of it of like where these Asians would roll Between into town. Between that and, all this and other kind shit. of like the, uh, the, the Salem witch trials, a really good a really good series on the Salem witch trials, like because that's another like so corrupt and fascinating like political fucking thing like yeah. where it just became greedy people realizing oh i could get my neighbor's land if i say that they're a witch yeah oh yeah uh fucking that, wild man uh that that one would be a rad one like i think i want to say american horror story did something with the witches but i don't know if god they're going into yeah, season but it 10 now it wasn't oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh uh, fucking macaulay Culkin is on the new season yeah season. macaulay Culkin's gonna be yeah. the new season that so shit yep um, and he said he was not you, touched by Michael Jackson. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you, did you see any more of, if, uh, Corey, yeah, about Corey's paper? I, I have not heard anything about it. Oh, uh, Corey Feldman. Yeah. He's supposed to do a, a live pay-per-view one time only and tell, tell the story of how him and, uh, Corey Haim got raped and how, uh, Michael Jackson molested them. All that I'm gonna, shit. I'll be watching that. For and the sure. day after Macaulay it's Culkin came out and he said, Hey man, um, Michael Jackson definitely did not touch me. Like I'm tired of fucking hearing about it. Blah blah blah. Moving on. Do you think he's so. hiding something? Like maybe he touched Michael Jackson? No, but I think one of you guys called it on the show that Macaulay I saw, Culkin. I think it was you, Jared. You said Macaulay yeah. Culkin was was too famous, and that if he fucked Macaulay Culkin, that there's yeah, no way it, he could get away with it. And uh, Jesse yeah. on Ross Patterson Revolution like, said because the same if thing. you look at all the yep. yeah, you look at all the victims. Like they are like middle America. Like like you you pick these people out because they worship you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so I, I think your theory is correct on that. Uh, but it's good to see Macaulay Culkin back. A lot of people forget the fact that he dated um, Mila Kunis, Kunis for yes. fucking eight years, dude. Yep. <clears throat> How did that work? I don't know. Man, that's crazy to me. She's a fucking rock star hot, dude. She's not married to Ashley yeah. Kutcher. How, oh, did, really? how the fuck did she date Macaulay Culkin? She just finally gave up because she and uh, Kutcher had on. They were on and off for a while. And then finally she's like, all right, fuck it. Let's just have kids. Yeah. Because Kutcher went off. I don't know what his deal is now, but that whole Demi Moore, Demi Moore situation, he was just banging everybody. And he, making not her, only was he banging because they didn't relationship. fuck everybody else. Yeah. And it was like a whole like swinger sitch. Yeah. De Jared, <laughs> if you're looking for anybody in Hollywood, hit up fucking Demi Moore, dude. I'm good. Really? <laughs> You want somebody in their uh, dirty 30s, man, at the end of the 30s. That's what you want. No. I, dude, yeah, she's a little old now, dog. So, Jared, you don't discriminate against anything. That's I true. don't. Anything. And she'd show you a few things because she's Indiscriminative older. Indiscriminative dick. Um, this, are, this is the year you take a dude. It's 2020. You're going to take a dude this uh, year. We'll see. Is it? Are we really still seeing, know. like, I think this is going to happen? What about a butt know. plugs? These butt plugs. Have you ever taken one of those? No, dude. No, I thought he hurts. was going to be the he was going to be the top. Oh, is that what it is? That shit hurts. Well, you so are you, are you gonna you're gonna be the top? I thought it was gonna be the bottom. I don't know. I mean, it could be. I don't shit. even know. You guys are just signing me up for things now. Like, not why can't really. You sign me up for like a pizza. Everybody who hears you on the show now is like, man, Jared talks about swinging a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I really believe he's gonna fuck a dude soon. No, that's not it. I think I think I'll it talk is. about swinging. That what about much. what about a tranny? Would you fuck a tranny like a super hot tranny? Yeah, fuck it. All I right. don't care. There we go. Let, let's that. Let's ease the transition a little bit. Yes. And by ease, I mean ease his <laughs> penis into the transitional butthole. That's what trans means. <laughs> yes. You're in transition. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So we can get a nice bee hole for you from a tranny. I'm we can sure. find a super hot tranny, dude. I mean, there's yeah. so many. Oh, those are easy to find. Yeah, there's so many in the porn industry now. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> fuck. We've met how many? We get a we get a porn star on next week. I think. Yeah. Porn yeah. stars. Not Who you guys got next porn week? Stars. Katie Kush. Uh, Katie Kush was on the show. Kush with a K. Look her, uh, look, look her up. Yeah, two Ks in that. Three would be too obvious. Uh, she's white. And um, I really, I really want to get Viking Barbie on because she makes fucking really fucked up Instagram videos. I think she'd be funny to have on. Is she a porn star? Uh, kind of. I think Viking Barbie. Uh, uh, the one who hit us up was was uh, Corey Chase. We never got to connect with her. Oh yeah, yeah she's Corey a Black Chase. Rifle fan. She, she's always wearing her shit. She yeah. does all of those mom porn videos. Uh, yeah. she's hot. She's hot. Uh, the one that you need to check out, Jared, is uh, Indica Indica Flowers. By the way, like I mean, I I've recently dread, dreadlocks. Yeah. yeah, I've 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 recently stumbled onto a new category I didn't know existed. Oh, <laughs> What's that? Jesus Christ! Well, we okay, go. so I've got I got two new categories. Okay, because a couple weeks ago I switched categories. I formal. What's formal? Like they're, formal they're wearing formal is, wear. Is pr- yeah, it's pretty much like post a black tie event in a hotel room, a nice hotel room somewhere. It's pretty fun. Oh, all right. Yeah. Like, that was fun. But no, the new one is J-O-I. Uh, jerk off instructions. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I had no clue. Oh, it's a big, that's a big one. Yeah, man. that one's been around for a minute. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I just don't like being told what to do. I don't either, and they're not really doing anything to themselves. Like I want to see them do it something depends. themselves. Like, like, dude, you could go deep in that one. There's all. There's oh yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a ton of them, man. And they yeah. make so those are the those are the the big money ones as far as like the the people who are monetizing their shit. Yeah, but they even like do ones like vertically. So like you 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 almost feel like you're just on Facetime with someone. That's a mm-hmm. that's a, that's the new thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With the phones, it's fucking great. Yeah, I'm so. I when when's your transition to full on porn director? You'd yeah, be the best at know. it, dude. Yeah. I mean, I, I can come up with something. I think I should write it, and I think I think I should go through a reputable, you know. I would love to connect with Pornhub because I think I think even doing a, a, a live show on Pornhub.com would be fun. Well, we could be do like that. I mean, yeah. we're, we're – you mean yeah. like, a, like a podcast, like a porn yeah, industry like, podcast? Like, yeah, yeah but, but we were – you know, if we could be the hosts for yeah. – you know, Playboy Radio was fucking – Well, that was our successful. buddy Dan Cummins. Dan Cummins, so, yeah. yeah. Good friend. Yeah. He's yeah. been on the show. He was great on that show, man. Yeah, he's really good. He's got some wild stories He's, he's from great days. on everything, though. But there's a – So it's like, dude, why don't we start Pornhub Radio? There's a couple of uh, porn actresses that are pretty good on shows. So one of them is uh, – Jessa Rhodes, she's really funny. She's been on Barstools. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows yeah. a couple times. Yeah, she's and good. Then, uh, I don't know how you say her name. Akira, Asa, Asa. Yes. As- oh, Asa, Asa. she's massive. She's really dude. funny. She's been on Kirill's show. She's but she's been on a bunch of shows. Yeah. She's pretty funny too. So there's people out there that are thinking about it right now. I'm sure and then Mia Khalifa. I think she's out of Austin, right? Yeah, but she kind of no, like she's in jail. Wait, what? what? For what? Oh no, that's Mercedes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mercedes. Mercedes is in jail. What's her last name? You, look that up, Dan. Benz. Uh, is it Benz? Car- Mercedes Carrera. Carrera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's, she's in. What's yeah, she she's in jail. In jail right? Her real name is uh, Melinda Smith. Um. Let's see. Pfft, oof. Uh, adult star Mercedes Carrera, real name Melinda Smith, has been accused along with her boyfriend Jason Whitney of molesting a nine-year-old girl. Yikes. So now she deserves to be in jail. Let's stay tuned and see what that's all about. If that's true, then both of those people should kill themselves. I want to apologize to <laughs> Mia Khalifa. Definitely not yeah. you. Definitely well, not in jail. Porn, brunette porn stars with brown hair. Yeah, I just I, I was like, wait, one of them is in jail. No, definitely well, not the, Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa doesn't look anything like this woman. Uh, as a matter of oh, okay. fact, she's Lebanese. Well, I, yeah. She's Lebanese. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> Lebanese. <laughs> yep. Classic Lebanese. Jared. Sorry about it. You know, um, but yeah, I, I think if if we did a podcast on Pornhub, that'd be a fucking blast. Well, dude, we could we could go live just like we, you know, they have a platform. And there's a very good friend of ours who works regularly with a lot of those people who is also he's been on the show a bunch of times and he's very, very funny uh, that we could slide in there really easily. Yeah. Charlie. Charlie Classic. Yeah. Easily. Has, yeah, he, has he worked with Pornhub? Yes. Yeah. He's yes. A, he was sponsored. Remember when we were in yeah. uh, L.A. last year, he was wearing the Pornhub hat. We had a whole conversation. We about should it. hook it up. We've had a million porn stars on the show. Yeah, 
I know. I mean, great. we should I, we should pitch it. I mean, I think it would be a fun <laughs> once a week show yeah. that we could just get pretty wild on, and then they can send us the talent they want us to promote. Yeah, and push push, push, their new push them to links well, that we they could, want. We like, could hey. we could probably go through Vixen to do that. I know the Vixen's well, sold. not anymore. Greg, yeah, he Greg sold, sold. Yeah. Oh, did he sell? Yeah. So he's just yeah. he's out. Fuck you, money. He's, he's out. He's out to business. He's just hanging out, doing nothing. So now. yeah, we're wants, gonna have now. to. I mean, I can. I have a friend I could reach out to and ask. Are they out of LA? See if we can get somebody. No, they're out of uh, Canada. Yeah, Pornhub's in uh, Ontario. I did not know that. Ontario. Yeah, yeah. they're in no Toronto. Shit. I think they're somewhere in Toronto. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Fuck. You learn something new every day. Uh, now's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week, kids. Oh yeah, this one's. Uh, I we know Charles Zeller. He's awesome, man. Yeah, he's a fucking. Yeah, homie, he, dude. he drove us around Orlando he's last time we were down there for that fucking. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, for the clown porn show. Yeah, dude, we yeah. did a clown porn. Yep. We had a clown pornographer on the on the yeah. live show in uh, Orlando. Nice. It was great. Yeah, it was great. And we had uh, Miss Quinn was her name. Yeah, we had. Uh, he also hooked us up with hotels down there. Yeah, Charles Zeller is the best. Yeah. So this is submitted by Charles Zeller. He says, my nominee for Drinking Bro of the Week is Eric Contos. Eric was one of my bartenders at Universal's Cabana Beach Bay Resort. On Thursday, November 6th, uh, Eric suffered a severe stroke and was taken to the hospital, placed on life support. Unfortunately, on Sunday night, his wife had to make the decision to pull Eric off of life support. Eric is survived by his wife and four children, his parents, brother, and sister, he was a mentor to all that came in contact with us and uh, was instrumental in my success. Eric is going to be dearly missed by all of his family, friends, and coworkers. Uh, sorry to hear that, Charles, but uh, cheers. Cheers to Eric. And uh, Charles, uh, we're thinking about you, man. That's, that's, one, of our, that's one of our homies, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, uh, Damn. Yeah, we, lo- we love Charles. So that's sad to hear. Um, he, by the way, he just submitted this. So, uh, Like just now? Yeah, so... Um, shout out to Charles Zeller, dude. He's a fucking dude, OG Charles drinking bro Zeller. and a real homie, dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He got he got me a pub sub last time we were down there too. Yeah, and so. uh, hey, before we get off air, Dan, why don't you show him the trophy we just had made for uh, Drinking Bros Sports? This thing is beautiful. It's about fourteen pounds. It's heavy. Um, oh hell yeah! Hold that up in the camera. This is the Sarah Williams Worst Fan Award. It's uh, shining examples of Drinking Bros Sports overhyped assholes. Uh, on the show so these are people who just go fucking nuts inside drinking bros sports on facebook uh, which is a private group they lose their mind and every year uh we're giving away they get engraved their name and their team because it's usually they have a meltdown over their team yeah and um this it, it's Sarah so Williams, good it's so good i know um and it's heavy and like they put a real beer mug and all that shit on the top of it like it's fucking hilarious but uh this year was Sarah Williams. She was an LSU fan. That's why we named the award after her. Um, well, she went she got, wild. She went wild. Like one she night. was like Facebook ca- calling us, like mess- Facebook Messenger trying to call us, trying and to talk call shit us. And, and it's like, dude, that, that shit's not hooked up for me. No. Um, she goes on this this message board and just starts going nuts. And this is the beauty, Jared, because you've never heard this story. <laughs> At the end of it, she goes. She goes, uh, I don't understand how you can host a sports show. Why don't you go back to the fucking new guy? And I was like, bravo, bravo. <laughs> um, and then she tried to call everybody at like 1.30 in the now morning. Now she's got an award. Now she's got an award yeah. named after her, and this is for the worst fan. Uh, Steven Edward is on there from 2018. He was a Michigan fan. <laughs> yeah. Kalen Cathrone, who I, pur- I purposely misspelled his name because we always— You're not going to put Dulesky on there? No, Craig is actually a great fan. Yeah, uh, he's a great fan. <laughs> he's. But yeah, he, but who was fucking with you about Ohio like constantly? Uh, numerous people do all the yeah, time, that's... but uh, like Ohio State's always in it every year, so I, I understand that. But uh, you, you can redeem yourself. So I, I really want to point this out. Like it's not it's not about being banned. Like Kalen Kalen Cothran, is that his name? Cothran. Every yeah. every he, time I fuck he, this up, he I he never fuck got up the spelling. He I actually never got banned. Never got banned. One, two. Uh, he redeemed himself and became one of the most uh, beloved people in Drinking mm. Bros Sports um, and uh, eventually got a fantasy football league named after him yep. where because uh, <laughs> uh, he's a Notre Dame fan. We get assigned Rudy memorabilia every year for this league and whoever wins it has the option of whether to burn it, blow it up, etc. The problem is I keep winning this league. So we keep we burn the jersey of Black Rifle Coffee. You, yeah, you we've actually we've got we've got another Notre Dame 
uh, like a helmet signed yeah. by Rudy Rudiger right here that we're going to fucking blow up. <laughs> we're going to blow up next week because so, I, wa- I want it again as well this year. Yeah. We're super so Caleb's just like dying inside. <laughs> every, year, every, year, every year in March, he has to watch something from his precious university get destroyed. <laughs> Because you sang the national anthem for it last year. We're in Black yeah. Rifle Club. Oh, my God. <laughs> so good. So uh, we don't want anyone to win this award, but there there inevitably will be someone, yeah. and then you'll be engraved on it along with these three other people. So uh, we just had that well, made, and yeah. yeah. When I get there by fan demand, the first order of business the three of us have to do uh-huh. is we have to we have to decide on cruise number two and we have to decide on the camping trip because they all are burning me down. I think I, everybody I, wants to go on the cruise. I think yes, we need to do we both, do the, to be honest. Yeah, we just do both. We yeah. just do both. Start with the cruise because that, that we, we can easily no, set that up. No, the cruise is going to be a year out. Like the camping trip, we could we could, we could could push into uh, yeah, we could do August, in the fall. September. Yeah. Yeah. Late summer, early fall. The cruise fall, yeah. has to be well over a year <laughs> so everyone can plan now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah but the cruise, I get hit about all the time. And that was, by the way, one of the funnest trips. It of was all time. great. We could yeah, have even Danny. Yeah. Danny says he wants to come back. He said he had a fucking great time. Same. Yeah. I was like, all right. Same, man. Let's I, do it. I had a great fucking time. You know, I'm he totally just did another one. one of the best times. He just did life. another one yeah, a couple he did the of weeks rock. ago. He said, yeah. And it was said, the yeah, same exact boat court. that we were on. <laughs> I, it was not only was it the same exact boat. He texted me from dinner and he goes, "Hey man, there's a bunch of he goes, uh, dudes I, from our crew." Yeah, yeah, and he goes, uh, he took a picture of the shrimp cocktail and he goes, "Wish you were next to me, big guy." <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck, you got he, Wi-Fi on that boat? Where would you go?" He recorded like a 90 second announcement from the uh, from the captain and just sent it to me. I'm like, "God damn!" It. I was like, well, "Remember the guy from ours, Donkey or whatever the fuck his name was?" Yeah. Like, oh Shut my god. Oh, hi, this, fuck this, up. this is your cruise host, Donkey here. Yeah, your name's Donkey. Shut the fuck up, dude. Uh, the weather's going to be 82 degrees today. Slightly sunny. Slight wind out of the south, and you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah that fucking guy. Uh, but yes, the cruise was a blast, and we will be doing that. Uh, Jared Taylor. Good to have you back on. We'll see you in studio here in uh, two weeks. Ooh. Yeah, two weeks. Oh, we shit. Will. I'll be at your house uh, next yep. Saturday night. You'll be here next. And then moving forward, we now are connected. Yes. Yeah. We are now all connected. connected. For Jared Taylor, a.k.a. Cat Puke, still want to remind the, the folks that you are Cat Puke because you're fucking cats. Um, D'Anthony, D'Anthony, Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. Good night.